the Justice Department will conduct a critical incident review of the law enforcement response to the school shooting in Uvalde. It comes at the request of the city's mayor after authorities admitted a string of failures in their response to the attack last week. A Justice Department spokesman writes in a statement, quote, the goal of the review is to provide an independent account of law enforcement actions and responses that day and to identify lessons learned and best practices to help first responders prepare for and respond to active shooter events. Joining us now from Uvalde is NBC News correspondent Liz McLaughlin. Liz, what's the latest there? It's been a lot of hugs and tears here, Willie. Um, it's really just a tough time. Hearts are aching in this community. Over the last week, it's been uh, a lot of confusion and shock, perhaps, for the community, for these victims' families. And now reality is setting in. I spoke to spiritual care volunteers, uh, mental health providers, who say that there's just a lot of trauma, a lot of mourning happening, and this will be an especially tough time. Yesterday was supposed to be a joyous day for this community. The start of summer break here and instead families uh, going to visitations for two children one of which uh, called the police was one of those children that made a 911 call and uh, funerals start today 21 victims uh, 22 if you include Irma Garcia's husband Joe Garcia who died from a heart attack just a couple of days after her shooting death and folks who know the couple say that it was a uh, heartbreak that killed him and they leave behind behind four children, if you can imagine that, four children uh, with no parents right now who will be going to a funeral. So right now the focus is on unity and love uh, and trying to move forward. We just learned that uh, it's likely Rob Elementary will be uh, torn down, uh, that it will be impossible mentally, uh, spiritually for these people to have to walk through that door again. And uh, there are talks from a state senator to get some federal funding to help make that happen and rebuild. Willie. NBC News correspondent Liz McLaughlin reporting for us this morning from Uvalde. Liz, thanks so much. Hey, bye.